We started in this, with a very small bookstore in Chinatown in Ompin, actually, you know, selling Chinese books, uh, Chinese textbooks, Chinese magazines, Chinese newspaper. That's where I learned my, my Chinese also. No? Because you're surrounded by books, eh, right? And then we're coming, you know, we have also the long playing records also, you know, of the you know, Chinese songs and all this one. Meitang Henry Lin Bon Leong Henry is Sterling Paper Group of Companies. Now, when we say Sterling, it's usually why is this very important to you to give honor to your father with all the business? Sterling, of course, rhymes with the name of my father, no? Lim Selling, Sterling. And it was really my father's son of decision to name it Sterling. As we were so small at that time, my father passed away quite early. You know, he was only 49 when he passed away. Being the eldest, you know, it's, I think it's incumbent on my part that I carry the torch. I'm sure my father would be uh, smiling you know, up there, uh, knowing that we really uh, try to make good you know, uh, sterling paper. How close were you with your father? Since I'm the eldest, I'm the closest to my father. and uh, I've learned a lot of uh, business acumen from my father so that you can sell more. And that's how you make money. But my father challenged me. Of course, if you sell cheap, you have to sell more. No? The challenge is try to sell as high as possible. What traits do you have, do you think, that you got from your father? No, workaholics, uh, perhaps. <laughs> no. My father likes to take pictures also. We produced the first photo albums in the Philippines. I want to show you this, uh, this old camera. I do not know how many of these are still working. This is a Rolleiflex, no? it's a German made camera, and this is the one that my father used no? when he was taking pictures. Uh, you can still see clearly no? uh, from the lenses here, and then you just put this one. And dami some picture, dami. Kaya nung bata kami, marami kami pictures talaga. Of course, I have the pictures of my parents hanging there. Here, I pray uh, to my parents, no? of course, for, for our health, for prosperity also. Certainly, Henry has a lot of qualities to be a company. Of course, he has to be a company. But he will be able to achieve his success in his family. How important is How important is delegating to your siblings or having them participate actively in the business? Mm -hmm. We are very diversified. So we really have to delegate. I mean, I cannot focus on all the businesses uh, at the same time. As early as uh, 20 years ago, we began delegating. Wait, what's the secret formula? I mean, to, to being successful in business, no matter what field you're in, is it the same formula that you apply to everything? For us, no. Any business that we will be entering, we want to be at least on the top five. If we are neither on the top five, we will just drop the business. You cannot just be a laggard no? uh, among the so many. Later, Henry's success That was a very tragic uh, thing to happen to us. But then in 2000, in which uh, in the accident in Luba, Pampanga, our family van was hit by a container trailer head on, and I was even cursing to heaven why this has to happen to our family. Henry my, my mother was, was a very big influence on my life. The best mother, no? you, you know, when I was young, a lot of people called me and they called me bakla. Oh, yes. I was so thin, maputi ako. That's the one that, ano, na talagang galit na galit ako. And then one day, when I go out, it's a neighbor, no? they call me, oh, nandiyan si bakla. I got so, ano, I pull out an old knife, so, ano, that my mother's using that for, ano, for the store malupa sa mga ano, mga halaman and I go after and my mother saw me inside the room oh Henry what are you doing Halika, baba ka. and then I saw tears no, coming down from my mother so the first time I kneeled down in front of my mother I said oh, mama why are you crying and that's what she said you know I've been teaching you a lot of things and then somebody just called you some names and you want to go after him with a knife that's not what you are going to do. I want you to just study hard and then you will be somebody in the future. And if you become somebody, then nobody is going to bully you. But remember, do not bully other people. 
，Henry 会找时间到他的书房休息。在这里，他看着他们的家族从贫穷到致富的过程，到后来有能力回馈社会，并将他代代流传。My name is Henry Lim Bon Leong. I'm a farmer who likes to wear business suit, and I'm proud to be a Chinese Filipino.